all of there, my beautiful, beautiful friends. I hope you're having a beautiful damn day. As per always, you deserve it. And I'm so grateful that you're here. With that said, however, I do wanna tell you that this is a massive trigger warning for the content that's about to come to you. I don't ever want to make anyone feel less than, unworthy, unsatisfied with their own life, their own body, or anything of that nature. I never want to impose a negative thought pattern or continuate the negative thought pattern that you may be on. I want and strive to be a safe space on this internet world. <laughs> so please, please, please click on another one of my videos if you have an eating disorder, eating disorder tendencies, or eating disorder history. I never want anyone to watch my content and to feel worse about themselves. Okay, so what you want to do here is make the chippies, and then you use the cabbage, <laughs> and then the cucumber. <laughs> Tastes like Fruit Loops. Full from today's food. I'm like hitting my head on the microwave right now, but we're dedicated to this shop. I feel like a princess that lives in a castle. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Welcome to day one of the video, and I know I just gave you a trigger warning, but here's another one. Um, I picked the most unflattering underwear that I could possibly find because I'm a little nervous that YouTube is gonna flag this video. Let's do our little body turnaround and uh, make breakfast. I'm feeling a little bit bloated this morning because I had massive dinner and some cake with a friend. It was a friend's birthday last night, so I ate a bunch and we're having a little bloat this morning, which is totally okay. This is me, and let's make breakfast. Just because you decided to live your life, enjoy the moment, eat the foods that you wanted to eat, which may equate to you being a little bit bloated the next day, does not mean that you should not fuel your body with full and nourishing portions because our body may not look as ideal as we desire it to look. It does not mean that we've gotten fat. It does not mean that we've gained weight. Bloat is normal, and it's your body's way of figuring out everything that it needs to figure out to process and digest all of the foods that you have enjoyed. The body is amazing. It's freaking magical if you really think about it. And we don't even understand how certain parts of it fully function, yet it carries us through life and tries its damn hardest to process everything that we put inside of it, everything that surrounds it. It tries to keep you happy and healthy. So appreciate your body and all of its hard work, even when it doesn't look as quote unquote picture perfect as you may desire it to be. Be grateful for what you have. Speaking of which, I'm super grateful. I had some leftovers from last night's dinner along with some leftover stir fry, but that definitely was not enough for me. I'm gonna show you how to make these matcha rice crisp snacks. Well, I thank Matcha Kari for sponsoring today's video. I decided on March 1st to cut coffee out of my life and to make it a little less dramatic for 30 days <laughs> because I thought 30 days was a good test experiment timeline to see how I feel without coffee in my life. But let me tell you why. I've experienced dizziness, a fast heart rate, feelings of dehydration, diarrhea, and just an overwhelming feeling of anxiety when I reach for a cup of coffee or multiple cups of coffee, let's be real here, during the day and on a daily basis. 
These feelings and reactions come up and I choose to ignore them because of the addictive quality that coffee has. And honestly, just the pure wanting of a coffee, which again is the addictive quality. But I've had this nagging voice inside my head for quite some time telling me to dial it back on the coffee intake. And I finally decided to listen to myself. Luckily, I've got matcha.com to fall back on to provide me with high quality, delicious matcha that does not give me any of the negative side effects that coffee gives me and I actually feel like I'm doing something good for my body when I'm drinking a matcha instead of depleting myself and falling into the addictive personality traits that coffee just pulls you into. (laughs) With the amount of antioxidants it has, the stable boost of energy it provides, and the fact that matcha in general is said to improve brain health and support skin health, I have decided to do something good for my body and I might as well do it right with the greener than green, beautiful matcha that matcha.com provides. But don't get me wrong, I've been a long time matcha lover and I've been using matcha.com's matcha for over a year now and I cannot rant and rave about it enough. I'm just really happy that I am finally listening to my intuition instead of that new freaking espresso machine that's in my kitchen that has been just a nuisance since I've moved into this house. I am sticking to my matcha game right here right now once again and i'm so happy that matcha.com is bringing me through to triumph and to do something good for myself and if you'd like to try out matcha.com i highly highly recommend it they have so many amazing products to try so click that link down in the description box peruse their website and at checkout you can use my code julia matcha to get 25 percent off of your purchase thank you so much matcha.com for having the authentic beautiful sweetly earthy matcha that you have again click that link and use my code and let's get on with the video Not gonna lie, these are not my favorite kombucha. I don't really recommend them, but I bought four, so I'm gonna have to drink them. They're not the worst, but I don't know, like JT or GT? GTs is just so much better. Plus I feel like adding kombucha into a can probably doesn't have the same health benefits as buying it in a fridge fresh. Also, This cup is the cutest cup I've ever seen in my whole life. I love it. I feel like a princess that lives in a castle. You pass the peas. Pass the peas. The peas. So after my leftovers, which I very much enjoyed, I just felt like a charcuterie board which i know isn't the right name for it us people are just calling a charcuterie board anything with like a bunch of stuff and some bread but there is an actual charcuterie board definition apparently i don't know i made a delicious balsamic dressing and i freaking love balsamic vinegar it's one of my favorite like top five ingredients i don't know why i didn't bring it on my stranded island if you watched the video i wish i did (laughs) Anyways, I'll leave the recipe in the description box for you because it's a must make. I also had some leftover hummus and I love olives. Olives aren't everyone's thing, but they're so freaking good to me. So this one was packed full of some leftover bread, red peppers, pears, olives, hummus, and our balsamic vinaigrette dressing. And then of course that freaking kombucha that I really didn't like. It's a lot of containers, I know. Uh, different sizes, of course. I don't know where to put them in my house. I feel like I have to rearrange my entire pantry to be able to fit these in somewhere. But this is not the star of the show tonight. I just had to move them to get out some ingredients. I'm going to make a creamy chickpea soup of some sort. I did pull out soy sauce and Thai chilies and ginger, but then I, but chickpeas, do they go with that? Excuse me. 
I think they're just I think they're just gonna have to. So let's go for it. I'm gonna watch YouTube and cook dinner, which is probably one of my favorite things to do. And you know what the cool thing about that is? Is that somebody's probably watching this video right now making dinner or food of some sort, breakfast, lunch, a snack. And I'm gonna watch another YouTuber while you watch me being a YouTuber, while you make dinner, while I make dinner, while they do something else. So weird how the internet works. Anyways, let's chop some onion. So we're starting off this recipe by chopping up all of our aromatics, so lots of onion, as you see, a massive freaking pile of onion. If you don't like onion, I'm sorry for torturing you with that amount of onion in your face, but I love it. It's amazing. If you sweat it out and caramelize them, onion is so good. It turns sweet. It's hard to believe, but it does. I got some ginger, garlic, carrots, and some celery as well. Again, all of our aromatics. Add some salt. Decent amount of salt. Don't don't be stingy, my friends. Papa. Couple star anise. A cinnamon stick. It's about half of the size of an actual cinnamon stick, and I'm like hitting my head on the microwave right now. But we're dedicated to this shot, so we're not going to change. Uno, dos, tres, cat. I just went from Spanish to French. Five. And some cardamom. I just crushed them with the back of my whoop, knife. Throw that in there. And now we're gonna add some Thai chili and a lot of cilantro. Couple cups. I've been smoking for 40 years. Couple cups of veggie stock. Splash of soy sauce. So I wanted a touch of a creamy element in this recipe, so I decided to throw some leftover cashew milk in here and then a big chunk of miso as well for that umami flavor that miso has. Cooked up some rice noodles. Rice noodles are my absolute favorite freaking thing. I just find them so enjoyable to eat, so fun, and I could have them with any recipe that I make, honestly. One tendency that I had when I was going through my eating disorder was to lean away from ingredients that I really enjoyed just because of their calories. Rice noodles definitely aren't the lowest calorie item in the book, but I love them. And am I going to take them away from myself because of their calories? No. I'm going to enjoy them. I'm going to fuel my body with them. I'm going to include them in my diet because they are freaking awesome. Remember, you only get one life. Eat the foods you love. All right, my friends, it's super late. I am so exhausted. I had to stay up kind of late just to get some editing done because I honestly was just slacking this week and I had to catch up. But this is the end of the day. I feel like my body doesn't really look any different from the start of the day. Um, the residual bloat from dinner last night and waking up this morning has subsided and now I'm just full from today's food and I'm happy I'm satisfied and my body is doing what it needs to do to process the food that I ate all day so I'm gonna go to sleep now because I'm so tired good night I'll see you tomorrow I have absolutely been loving making my own cashew milk recently i highly highly recommend it i bought this massive bag of cashews for like 30 dollars and i can make so many freaking batches of cashew milk with it that i am probably cutting my cost of milk in half and it's so easy and fun to make look at me just squeezing the milk out of cashews who knew you can milk cashews am i right turns out you can. You can definitely add some sort of sweetener in your cashew milk or a touch of salt, some vanilla. I literally just blend cashews in water and I find that so fun and such a good base for things. I can use it in savory recipes and I can use it in my morning drinks, some sweets and treats, pancakes, whatever I desire to use it for. And right now, 
I needed milk for a matcha, a delicious and beautiful matcha that I put some maca powder in with a sprinkle of salt because maca powder and a touch of salt just go so well together. <clears throat> Perfection. Good morning, my beautiful, beautiful friends. I just had a few sips of my matcha. So this is the only thing I have put in my body thus far today. Um, I honestly have such a busy morning and I'm just gonna snack on a granola bar and an apple, just get something inside of me um, and then make it an actual proper, more so brunch after I do some filming. Anyways, let's do our morning little body analysis. I feel empty. I don't know. I haven't eaten today, so this is this is what she looks like. I'm also wearing pajama pants cuz like I don't know. I feel like my butt doesn't really change that much. Um, you know. And I also just really don't want this video to get flagged. All right. Let's go have a granola bar. Like I said, I wanted to have a granola bar, so I had one of these Hamana bars. I, I don't know their name, and I work with them, and it makes me sad. I can't pronounce it properly. There's just certain things. My dyslexia allows me not to read properly or say properly after I've already read it and said it in my own way. Hamana. Really try my best. I love them because of their simple ingredients, and I don't say no to other protein bars or energy bars in general, but I do enjoy these because of their simple ingredients, and fueling my body with high quality ingredients does mean a lot to me because I just want my body to be nourished and fueled and feel its best, and I just love my body, and I want to give my body the love that it deserves. Okay, so this is the first time I've had the berry mix from Catalina Crunch, and no lie, it tastes like Fruit Loops. I don't know how they do it. After my busy morning, I'd fuel up with some AG1 before I headed out to a coffee shop, and I am jealous of my past self for drinking a delicious coffee. This place that I'm at literally has the best coffee, the best sandwiches. Mm, this is one of their vegan sandwiches. It's called the Full Veggie, and it has eggplant and tomato and spinach and vegan pesto, and honestly, it's legitimately godsend, and I have one of these sandwiches like once a week now because they're just so good. So I'm pretty hungry still after that little lunch date with myself and the sandwich. So I'm just going to whip myself together a really quick bowl. I already got a sauce made. I'm gonna warm up some edamame for protein. Whoa, too much. <laughs> Way too much. Oh no. I'm gonna chop up some fresh veggies and then call it a day. Well, not actually a day, but a meal. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Mr. Mister, I'm so sorry. Did you just fart? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. Leftover rice noodles. I did put a little bit of oil on them just so they didn't stick too drastically in the container. Obviously they're still a little bit stuck together, but it did help. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw it. Oh! <gasps> Am I on TV? Yeah, man! Hi, Mom! Okay, so what you want to do here is you make the chippies, and then you use the cabbage, <laughs> and then the cucumber. Oh. No one likes cucumber though. Cucumber goes. After this big bowl, I was craving candy and all I had was this old, hard candy that I had to fulfill my craving with and 
it it did its job. Is it cookie? <laughs> cookie. Cookie. You made her cho teeth. Once I finished up some work this evening, my roommate was having some friends over, so I indulged in some of their food after it had already been picked through, but <laughs> I was offered some food, so I stole some of that. And a reminder to not say no to food because we don't know all of the ingredients inside of it and how many calories there might be in it, what dressing they used, what oil they used. And obviously, I'm a vegan, so yes, if something's vegan and it's, you know, thumbs up on that, then I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to ask for all of the freaking ingredients inside of it, but as long as I know it's vegan, I'm going to indulge and enjoy myself because it was offered to me and I was hungry. And enjoying food with friends is such a valuable way to spend your time. I was a little bit hungry after that little portion of food, so I literally just microwaved some dumplings that were in my freezer, added some sauces on top of them, and enjoyed. Not every meal has to be perfect, well-rounded, or proportioned properly. Sometimes it's more valuable to just enjoy yourself in the moment. Good evening, my friends. I am so uncomfortably full from eating a bunch of chips and salsa, and I know I didn't show you any chips and salsa, but it's because I decided to have one chip and salsa, and then just couldn't stop eating chips and salsa <laughs> until I finished like three-fourths of the jar of salsa. Anyways. We got a nice food bump this evening. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. Press record. Good morning, my friends. Just had a few sips of my matcha again. I feel like I need to move my body a little bit before I film this, so that's why I just like get up and make my matcha. Now I can walk a couple steps and wake myself up before I interact with the world. <laughs> Anyways, here's today's morning analysis. And I just want to say that none of these clips am I judging my body or feeling like my body should look any different or thinking that my body isn't good enough to go on camera right now or I'm trying to suck in or show you a different like pose. Like I'm just standing here in my normal human flesh, my meat suit and showing you what's up. And there's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you either. For breakfast, I was feeling savory food, more of a lunch or dinner. But guess what? You can enjoy any food at any point in the day. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If you're craving savory for breakfast, then make yourself something savory. If you're craving sweet for dinner, have something sweet. You know, food, we've categorized into these certain appropriate times we're allowed to have them for whatever freaking weird reason that I truly do not understand at all. Food is food, and yes, you should fuel your body with colorful and nutritious food the majority of the time, but that doesn't mean that you have to say no to something that you're craving because it's not the right time of day to eat it. Like, make yourself a chickpea salad for breakfast if that's what you're craving. Moral of the story. I'm going to honor my body and what it wants at all the different times of the day, and I hope that you do the same because you deserve that, your body deserves that, your brain deserves that. Our relationship with our body is based on trust. We have to learn how to trust our bodies and respect our bodies, love our bodies, and listen to our bodies. This is a hard endeavor. Do not get me wrong. There are days I feel super connected to my body and there are days that I don't. That's so normal. Trust the process that you're going through. 
All of our journeys are so very different, but that does not mean that we can't learn something from one another, educate ourselves on things that we may need some reminders of or knowledge of. Life is constantly flowing for us. There is no stop to it. We do not just have a break from life. <laughs> and a lot happens to us in a day. A lot happens to us in a week and in a month that can change and shift our mindset on so many different things. So just know, just because you're having a hard time with your relationship with food or your body right now does not mean that is your forever. Well, isn't this a fun new way to eat pita? I went out this evening with Scott and his dad and it was the first time meeting his dad so I got a little bit shy with my filming but I ended up ordering a vegan pizza with eggplant on it and lots of other veggies as well. I ate the whole thing, drank a beer and it was delicious. A bit after I got home from meeting Scott's dad which is so crazy ah, but I'm so happy that I don't know I think he liked me. I hope he liked me. I think I did a good job. I don't know. <laughs> I really like his son. Love his son. Oh. I made myself a chocolate milk because I just need, needed to get through the day. I had a really late night of working and I honestly fell asleep while I was working. It was like 2.30 in the morning and this week has just been honestly kind of crazy. So forgive me for not giving you a body analysis at the end of the day yesterday. Good morning, my friends. Um, I stayed up until 2 a.m. last night trying to get some work done. My work-life balance has not been the best this week, to be completely honest. And I'm also only about five days to start my period. So, you know, just... These things impact your body. You can't expect to stay up late all the time, not sleep properly, have caffeine. Like, you can't... Ex How we live our life affects our little meat suit that we have and that doesn't mean that we should be ashamed of our bodies or anything of that nature but if we're doing something that isn't particularly great for us like staying up too late working and not sleeping properly maybe we should fix that so this is the goal long story short okay morning analysis I still have so much work to do today, so I need to get crack a lacking. One reason I decided to stop drinking coffee is because of waking up and just having the immediate urge to have a coffee. And I don't even find I get that big of like a rush or a kick from coffee. I don't even find it energizes me all that much. It's just the mental draw to this addictive thing that I really needed to shake. So I nonetheless enjoyed my coffee on this morning, but needed to get some food in my belly like pretty much right away because sometimes when I drink a coffee and don't eat beforehand, I just get all squirrely and it causes me anxiety. I made myself a chia seed pudding. This one was really freaking delicious, I do gotta say. So I will leave the ingredients on screen here somewhere or maybe like a few clips back when I was making it. You may have already saw it. I warmed up some frozen peaches and some frozen blueberries. This was a super fun and colorful little bowl here and really enjoyed it. It was like having jam on top of a cheesy pudding. Felt super nourished, fueled after full, which is very important after you eat a meal, but not to the point of sickness. Find that balance, my friends, because it is really hard to find, actually. I, I've struggled with finding the balance of being full, satisfied and full, versus disgustingly full, because I don't know about you, but I was taught to clear a plate as a child, and I have a hard time not eating everything on my plate. However, I remind myself constantly that I can put it in a container. I can, and I can put it in the fridge, and I can enjoy those few bites that I do not feel the desire to finish right now another time. Those few bites will be a great little snack in between lunch and dinner or breakfast and, and lunch at some point in the next few days. 
So just remember, when you're at the point of being full and you don't have your plate completely cleared, that's okay. Get the old voice of your parents out of your head telling you to clear your plate in one more bite, which is not a great mentality, obviously, to teach people. We need to teach children and ourselves to eat until we're full, stop when we're full, and eat when we're hungry. And there are different levels of hunger as well. Sometimes you just want a little snack, other times you want a massive meal, and that's okay. Listening to our bodies and recognizing these hunger cues is so very important. Yes, it's hard and yes, we go through phases of being able to read our bodies and listen to our bodies so much better than other times, but the knowledge is inside of us. It's there. And if you feel the need to educate yourself on these topics, then make sure you're doing it from a reliable source, not just some influencer telling you exactly what to eat or how to eat or when to eat online. Talk to a nutrition, and if you don't have the capabilities of getting a nutrition, then listen to actual doctors that have podcasts. They do exist, and there are people that dedicate their entire lives talking about nutrition and eating disorders that have real science-based knowledge that you can learn from. After my big bowl of spaghetti, which I only ate about half of that, by the way, I did not eat the entire bowl of spaghetti. I munched on the rest of the bag of my dried mangoes. This video that I just finished editing has literally been the death of me over the last couple of days. I'm so glad I'm done it, but again, it's almost 2 a.m. And, you know, I can't lie. It's part my fault. I take too many breaks. It's fine. Okay. This evening's analysis <laughs> I'm so tired guys Well, hello, fancy meeting you here again. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it. If you could hit the like button and the subscribe button before you click away, it truly supports my channel, supports me and the message that I'm trying to share. I love every single one of you so very much. You have no idea how grateful I am to do what I do, to share what I share and to create a positive community and hopefully impact people on a good, <laughs> in a good way in a positive way. I'm trying my best here. Please remember that your body is unique and special and it's supposed to change and shift throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the years, because you are an ever evolving person. And that is so special and unique and love up on your body when you need that extra love, extra support, because you, can count on yourself. Learn to trust yourself, learn to trust your body. It has so many answers inside of it and we need to learn how to listen to it a little bit better. And we also need to learn to shut our, shut our minds up and shut the outside world up when we're feeling negative about ourselves. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me along on my journey and I will see you again so very soon. I love you. Mwah!